Hello there, how are you doing? This is Yinkao John Guy Talk again. Um, how have you been? Um, we are getting ready for a new year. Um, I hope you've been enjoying my videos. I have a lot of videos here, short videos that will transform your life and turn you into a superhuman being on earth, supernatural human being on earth. Now, I want you to like this video, share this video. I want you to um, give us some comments and hit the notification bell so that you can know when I come up with another video. Now, let's get into this. I want to talk about preparing for the year 2024 through fasting. Preparation is very, very important. That means preparation means that the things you do to get ready before you go on a journey, you need to get ready. Before you um, undergo any endeavor, you need to get ready. Jesus himself taught about preparation. He said, who wants to build a tower and does not count the cost initially? Who wants to go on a journey does not count the cost? He's teaching on preparation. Preparation, the process of getting ready is never lost time. How are you preparing for a 2024 that is bigger, better, and even more successful than the, any of the other years you have spent on earth? You need to prepare. Um, preparation is 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 when is is when you know that you're going to succeed success is not just accidental remember that success is when opportunity meets preparation there are opportunities coming your way all the time in this life they're coming left right and center to you opportunities for breakthrough opportunities for advancement opportunities for promotion opportunities to make um, new connections and to network but if you are not prepared opportunities will come and they will pass you by without you identifying them so what you need to do is prepare yourself when you are prepared and the opportunities come and you step into it it translates into success so that's the equation success equals opportunity plus preparation success is never accidental again i'm asking you the question how are you preparing for the year 2024 Fasting is one very good and important way to prepare for the year 2024. Fasting is a spiritual exercise um, in which you abstain from food and drink or sometimes just food. When you abstain, you, you are putting more of those time, that time into spiritual work, into spiritual activity. Um, it is something for every believer. Uh, Jesus Christ encouraged fasting. He said, when you fast, don't fast like the religious people. Don't fast like unbelievers. Don't fast like the Pharisees who want to show off with their fasting. So he said that you got to take your bath, put on your perfume, put on your best clothes and go to work. So, but in your heart, you're communing with God. And then they asked Jesus Christ, why is it that your disciples do not fast? The disciples of John the Baptist keep fasting. Jesus said, well, I'm with them. I, the bridegroom, I'm with them. They don't need to fast. But when I'm gone, then they will fast. Jesus has been gone, so this is a season in which we need to fast and put in the required spiritual exercise of fasting to prepare for the future. All the people that have done great things for the Lord in the Bible, they fasted. People fasted. Nehemiah fasted. Daniel fasted. Um, I mean, they, they, all over the, the Word of God, we see Esther. Esther fasted and um, Jesus himself fasted. But I, I want to just let you know that there are different kinds of fast. Do not end back on a fast that will damage your body or your health. I tell people what the Christian should do is common sense fasting. Fasting with common sense. So I like to teach on the on common sense guide to fasting. Um, so I tell everybody, basic fasting skip, skip your breakfast skip your lunch pray and then in the evening break your fast anytime from six seven eight you break your fast those are powerful fasting scenarios what fasting does is that fasting humbles your soul before god that's what david said i humbled my soul with fasting before god fasting also subdues your flesh when the flesh is too strong and your flesh is controlling your spirit and your soul, you will not be able to have the victory over the world and the devil that you should. But when you fast, you are telling your flesh you are secondary here. You are not the one in control. Your spirit and your soul are determining when your flesh eats. And then when you just do that, 
it retrains your flesh and then also your spirit mind gets strengthened because of course um don't overdo it but just just do enough uh a few days you can just do one or two or three days we've just finished um uh, eight days in our church uh, we we're breaking every evening of course so we're trusting god for a year full of possibilities so uh, if it's just one day you want to take to fast and pray if you're a beginner that's a good place to start from fasting is a very important key towards preparing for an excellent and successful new year ahead all right then i'm going to stop here um i want you to like this uh comment on this subscribe to this channel and let other people know about it until i come your way again in my next video this is in Joe saying shalom